Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be planning in my mini ha Happy Planner spread. It's horizontal, it's my mini on the go for the week of March 23rd through the 29th. Um, even though I'm not going anywhere, um, I'm still gonna decorate. And I decided to continue to use the Free Spirit to do coordinating a layout with my horizontal which I don't always do coordinating layouts. It's actually pretty rare. Um, I've probably done it maybe, maybe at most four or five times. So, but I decided to just go ahead and keep going with this book. I really liked this book. I had never honestly taken a good look at it. I think I might have seen a flip through um, from someone else on YouTube but it wasn't something that like stuck out. And I remember being at a Joann's about a month ago and I saw it and I was like, you know what? They were having some type of a sale. I'm like, I don't have this one, so I will add it to my list. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is white this piece out so that no matter what sticker I put, it doesn't seep through. There we go. So, all right. I'm thinking one of these like stickers that looks like it's a brush stroke maybe, or maybe one of these, but if I do, I will probably have to white out more. Um, so I don't know yet. Or a plain, maybe a plain one. So I also pulled some washi, which I don't know where I set it. Oh, right here. This purple color. This came from like a rainbow tube from Michaels, I believe. So if I decide I want to add washi, I've decided that this purplish color, light purple, is going to be the color I'm going to go with. So, I don't normally prefer paper stickers, but I feel like a paper sticker would be what I would want for that to cover up those lines without whiting them out so much. I could also put just a, like a shorter box sticker right here and leave the lines. Um, I'm loving this like copper rose gold. It's gorgeous. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this light purple one with the florals. I'm not sure how well you can see if there's a glare because of my lights. So I'm hoping it doesn't look like it's a huge glare. So, I know I used a weekend sticker last time. Um, I don't necessarily need it to be a weekend sticker. But I love to put those in my spread. Okay. And I know this... Uh, Planner, and I'm actually going to flip this one. I know that um, this planner is not necessarily going anywhere. So I'm still going to decorate it. Like I said in my previous video, I literally just started my YouTube channel and filming videos last week. And what a time to not be able to really, really utilize what I have as far as my planners and, you know, obviously the plans and everything, but I've decided, you know what, I'm still going to do it because why not? I have this pretty large collection of happy planner items, <clears throat> excuse me, sticker books, accessories, 
so why not, <laughs> right? Okay, do I wanna do the foil or do I wanna do the colored flowers? Maybe the foil and then I can accent with, oh, where are they? These little ones, yeah. We're gonna give that a go. Okay, well I have one there, so not necessarily. I hope everyone is keeping themselves occupied, busy, entertained, anything during this time of quarantine. Um, hope people are staying healthy. I know where I live, um, more cases keep coming up. Um, we are in a, I forgot the exact words, but it's a shelter order um, where we are told to stay indoors. The state is not shut down completely yet. I see it coming. Um, so if you have to go to the store, yes. You have to go anywhere else for necessities, doctor's appointments, yes, that's fine. Get gas, yes. So kudos to the people who are still working in those jobs, gas station attendants, anyone in a medical facility, anyone. Doctors, nurses, all the way down to um, housekeeping, the kitchen, anyone who is still deemed essential and is working right now. So my job was obviously deemed essential. And I said it in my last video that I work for a large um, coffee chain and we were deemed essential. However, my company is offering 30 days of the catastrophe pay Oops, somehow I got a sticker stuck there, which being a diabetic, I am at risk. So um, I was really, really torn about deciding whether or not to continue to work. Um, my fiance preferred that I didn't because of that reason. And I'm of no use to my family or my kids. You know, anyone in the family, I'm no, no use to anybody, anyone, sorry. I don't like how that one's sitting. I'm going to take that off if I'm sick. So I have opted to take the time off. So we will make the best of it. So currently our school district, even though I am homeschooling, we have decided to stay with our district's schedule as far as classes and everything goes. <coughs> Excuse me. It's dry in my basement. Oh. These have the copper foil in them. And these do not. I'm going to go with these. Um, so we're sticking with our district's school schedule. So currently my kids are on spring break this week. So, and again, like my fiance made the point, my furnace just kicked on. So if you hear that, that's what that noise is. Um. I'm of no good to anyone if I'm sick. So. But I commend my coworkers who have opted to continue to work. Um, my fiance is one of those who is definitely also deemed essential. He ships out 
medical supplies. So he's been working 10 hours a day. Um, going in an hour early. So he's out the door by 5 a.m. And then coming, leave, not leaving his job until sometimes up to an hour, hour and a half late. So he's tired <laughs> and who can blame that? So, and this week they just started working Saturdays as well. So yeah, that's great overtime, wonderful, but at what cost? So, He definitely deserves a good rest. Um, so we actually booked our honeymoon. I booked it over a month ago, well over a month ago, and paid for it in full. And with everything going on, we do not know the fate of our wedding or what could happen if this gets extended for our honeymoon. Like, who knows? So. I don't want to cancel my wedding. Um, I mean, who wants that, right? <laughs> so, I know this is all going to pretty much look the same because I've literally just cut these in half, but I'm fine with it because it makes a beautiful little border. So, and I'm not going to go all the way around both pages, just enough because I still have other stickers to put. So. But my fiance and I talked about, because this is just crazy, that we've even discussed literally just getting our money back on what we've paid for because everybody has offered us 100% refunds if we choose to cancel with them. Um, okay, I don't like how that's overlapping, so this one's gonna get moved. We've even talked about literally just going to the courthouse and getting married. Um, I mean, in my heart, that's not what I want because my first wedding was in a courthouse. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that because there is not. Some people prefer it. Some people don't want to do a wedding. They deem it as, you know, a waste of money. And you know what? They are expensive. I think the wedding business has gotten Huge, very huge. So that's better. Um, but I mean, I've always wanted a wedding. So I want, would love to have my wedding. So just breathe. Yes, let's all take a minute and just breathe. Um, so my fiance, who also has been married before, um, did have a wedding, but even though he, it's not a, as huge of a deal to him, he still wants me to have, go find adventure in my own house. Let's, <laughs> um, he wants me to have a wedding and I appreciate that very, very much. Um, it's a very loving thing to do for another person. So. We're gonna put this one here. To bring out some more of that copper foil because you can never have too much shiny, right? <laughs> but yeah, so it's stressful because it's all up in the air right now. Um, like I said in a previous video, we are not getting married until May 1st, so we still technically have time, but you just don't, you never know in this type of a situation. And we've never been in this type of a situation. I mean, we've obviously our country has been in many situations, but in a situation where literally we are shutting down, it's desolate, it's just, it's crazy.
so all right now these are probably too big since I've already put this one down and then this is down and I don't want to move it so we're going to stick with the small stickers because I don't want it too full I've seen some gorgeous videos where girls fill them up and I love it but I don't do that escape the ordinary can we? <laughs> hmm. I've already got flowers coming here and then some coming down. And if I put a box, it will cover up the day, which isn't the biggest deal to me, but maybe some quotes. dance in the ring not where I live <laughs> actually it's snowing here in the suburbs of Chicago so happy March <laughs> we'll do this one good energy is contagious in a time like this we're all at home yes it is but yeah it's actually snowing um, which isn't completely unheard of, but you know, it's rare for this time of year for us. Um, last year, I remember on April 24th, exactly, my daughter's first birthday party. No, I'm sorry. Her birthday is April 24th. Her party was April 27th. It was Saturday. It snowed that day. Um, and people still came out for the party and thank you everyone who did because they made the part they came our house was full um my fiance still grilled because that was the plan um because we had ordered i believe close about 20 pounds of meat um of a skirt steak called arrachera um it's a thin pressed like skirt steak that we marinate and um, if any of you are hispanic you know what I'm talking about, but, and those who are not Hispanic, because I know a lot of people love it, but, so he was out there grilling <laughs> in the snow under a canopy tent last April. Let's see here. I don't really need a remember sticker because I'm home. Um, but anyways, he was grilling under a canopy tent. And I remember there was like this perfect square in our lawn, <laughs> which was pretty funny. So, let's see. Dream big? Why not? But yeah, so that was fun. We're going to put this here. And I think I'll cut it too. Um, so, yeah. So what are your plans for spring break, if any events on spring break also? Um, go ahead and put it in the comments. Curious. I know people close to me and like friends and such, I know that they are um, kind of doing the self-quarantine because a lot of my coworkers live in town because a lot of them go to school out here because like I said, I'm in a college town big plants funny um so oh these are pretty um they are also you know taking the time i actually just reached out to a coworker this morning that i don't normally see because we work different hours just to check in so do that check in on check in on people see if they're okay see if they need anything because um, sometimes, you know what, they just want to say, hey, you never know. Okay. So this is very, very minimal for me. Um, where's, the, oh, that's still stuck to my finger. There we go. purple. I don't want to put a purple one down here. I want to put not purple or pink. This one's good. 
full of hearts. Okay, so this one's going to be pretty minimal. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go back to the flags to do some bullet points. So I'm just basically going to copy what I've got going on for my vertical here. So, and like I said, I, I know a lot of people are not. They're like, what am I going to put in my planner? And you know what? Same. So I'm just going to plan my life. As normal. There's a work schedule and I'm on it. I'm putting it in, even though I'm not going. So we're just going to go with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's very dry in my basement. So. Okay. Here we can do a pink one. And my kids are outside playing right now in our backyard. So you may hear them come in. There is like a bubble underneath this one. Oh, that's so funny. There's a little bitty hair. And I don't think I'll be able to get that off. Nope. So that will bug me, but oh well. I won't be looking at it a ton anyways because I'll be not doing that. <laughs> so um, we have pets, guinea pigs. I've said that before. So um, eight of them. To be exact. So, which earlier when I came down to the basement to start this video, I heard them making their noise and doing their squealing. It's actually called weaking because that's literally what it sounds like when they get excited or when they're hungry or they, especially when they're hungry, but when they hear you come down into the basement, they make that sound. Um, cause it's time to eat, but they have a huge, huge abundance of hay in their enclosure, but doesn't matter. They always want extra pellets. They want fresh veggies, which ours eat more veggies than fruits. Um, so they want it all. <laughs> so. And like when we talk about them, we just call them our pigs. So we don't really say our guinea pigs. We're like the pigs. Do you do the pigs? Like when we ask our 15 year old, because her responsibility five out of the seven days of the week is pigs. So we're like, Abby, do you do the pigs? Do you feed the pigs? So people sometimes think that we have legitimate pigs in the house. I'm like, no. But I would love one. I've always wanted a pot belly pig. Okay. So we're done with that. So that's pretty minimal for me, I would say. Um, which, you know what? I am perfectly content with that. So we're going to go ahead and put this in my mini planner. Oh, my mini planner is a little full. so, And it does coordinate with this one. So there you have it, folks. Okay, so everyone have a good day. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.